good morning from Pula Off. Where are we going? Clonmacnoise. What's Clonmacnoise? Clonmacnoise is an old monastery on the banks of the Shannon. <laughs> Welcome to Clonmacnoise. Here. Theatre is the first door on the left. It's well worth seeing because it gives you a full background history to the site. In its developed form, Clonmac Noise was a site of great complexity, covering an area of more than 10 acres. And location alone may have been the reason why St. Chiron was to choose this site for his monastic foundation in the middle of the 6th century. In the meantime, you could wander down here, have a look at the original crosses which are on display just to the left here, okay? These are the infamous high crosses of Clan Noise. Back in the day, they used these high crosses as teaching tools because most of the people back then couldn't read. These crosses would be super colorful um, and painted and with different images from the Bible so that people could teach the Bible through imagery instead of through text. On the top of these crosses, they built what their churches used to look like. So on the top of every cross is like an old church kind of thing, which I thought was really cool. The rest of the monuments are outdoors. Be careful walking around because of the damp conditions. It might be a bit slippy or a bit crazy. So just take care of walking around. So this used to be like a like a like a city, right? Church, but like a town with people. Well, yeah, but not really right here. This is more of like the religious. This was okay, but this was all like a village of people. Yeah, like back in the day. Back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and this was like the center of like learning and. Irishness. Yeah. And monks and everything. Yeah. This is Tomas. That's Neve. Neve Tomas. He is though. Neve Tomas. Tomas Neve. <laughs> This is the place where you whisper. I thought it was here if you like whisper on this side. It comes from this side of the So this is the whispering arch in uh, Clonmac Noise. And legend has it, I guess it's not a legend. Back in the day, the priest would be on one side while the person confessing would be on the other side. And they would whisper to each other and it would go through the arch so that other people couldn't hear your sins. All the craftsmen, they really flourished here and the uh, culture just really grew and this was such a mecca for all Irish learning and religious um, stuff. It never lost its religious significance. People would come here on pilgrimages. <laughs> pilgrimages. It was still used as a burial ground.
Despite what my travel companions look like today, not all Irish people are ginger. <laughs> you guys aren't doing you guys aren't doing anything for the stereotype right now. That's a wrap on Clown McNoise. I keep saying it wrong. I keep saying clown. Clown McNoise. Ireland wrong. I don't say Ireland wrong. <laughs> Ireland. 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 <laughs> Ireland. Ireland. It's cold. It's really cold, so we're leaving. Cool place. Check it out.